I had promised myself I knew I wouldn't break down in any way. Konka, kuna reva, I don't know, nanda yunda misho ganji, ashanga, bari yobari yikuza, enati, rukushangu apora renda kutoro kanomu shanducha, nona manyangu ebiensi, nebushu. I really, really, really couldn't believe that no to a hika. It's been tough. It's been tough. When come over the quiz, I could quite a long friend. Nindeba ho, ba MP Zavan. I can see Honorable Annette Mugisha, woman MP of Shenya District, uh, who is also the spouse to. In your silver, Mugisha, MD National Water. You can see the owner of Ken Richamuzi, the man. Here, Deva Mo, Abantu Bakur Munonga, I think Dazum Kwanjura, because Father has done a great job, but see Chairman Kwa Garanach, Ambassador Godfrey Chirumira, Kanda Twirena Kwata Nisani Tumnonga, and Abantu Mwen. And our colleagues who have stood by us since this happened, because uh, when I went home that same night, Kashanga Mami Vanji, Adia Hansi, and Semushovire, Kahora Najeran, Nanya Kantara Menchokor. But I want to thank you, Harold, because I found you strong at that time. And Abandavana Muena. And in Sima Banyuanba, Mami, especially Mchara Gudra Behakanra, of Bido, we will stand by generator. Wakorumir Momurunji, Wamikahihi, Mwebarim no. Then Doxima, Emanzitu, Kunkava Chiga, we have our pillars. So right on over Hakana I want to take this opportunity to thank you for remaining our Pira. Motwebe Mbire. Motwebe Mbire. You've guided some of us. When we are stuck, we call on you. You're always ever available. The same with right on over Mama Mbabazi. Nanawa and Mwena. But in a special way, I want to thank our ministers from Kigezi who I know the rest are in the cabinet, but you had to leave everything. So Honorable Bahati, Honorable Henry Musasizi, Honorable Anifa Kawoya, we can never take it for granted as friends of Apollo and as a family. So we want to really, really thank you. Nebio uh, Bjinji Munonga, I just want to say, We've been overwhelmed. Now, personally, the messages of condolence at a personal level I've received are overwhelming. Because Apollo was more than a friend to me. Apollo was like a father to me. He was a mentor to me. Bumbe Mura Mureberaho Aragamba Biche Konkomu Vichebye Yebyo. In his softness, the sky even couldn't be the limit as long as he wanted to do something. So I really, I'm really, really happy. Uh, I remember, like I gave a story yesterday of how we met in 2008. Started doing business in South Sudan. And he guided me on how to use money. Having money and using money effectively are totally different things. I see many people in town, you see them having money, enjoying doing what? Then the next day, you hear them asking you for one million. Kunkash Kobi Rodari or Rosa Million, you come. Kobi Rodazum Ubara. So he showed me the value of money. 
that money is not about you having it in big numbers. Money is not about you accumulating it. But also, it's about you using it effectively to impact on society. And that's what Apollo did. He impacted on very, very many of us. He introduced us to his family. I basically know each and every of the children. So, really, Apollo Hinokuya Abira. Oramanya, sometimes, Oramanya Harufu, we say for us in Africa, Manya, you must talk about the dead. Konko mwe harufu murafatu za kubagambo ho, oshanga tura buza buza tura gita gita bigambo. Nguspiche hui. Konka aporo ebigambo nibyinji kujirangu oriore buza ogambe chorekechi. Because yesterday I was in Oya. I found people mourning. Ono yebo kawanda, David told me people in Mubenda were mourning. In Chazanga, in Rwanda, in DRC, in, you know, Konkatu im abamwe turafa, ohike hore ebe, omwe tu azano kuzi komucharo right hone ebo tu ike yo, umucharo yonda zoko ha erosi wajirengu mena gaya kataka, orengu munti ya naga yengkurungu ngu ya mkurata no mchitur, abamwe nukweba, but Aporo is someone otshashiri. My only fear is if we don't maintain Apollo's legacy, Apollo will die with many people. Because many people have been surviving on him. So now the task is on you, Harold and team. Apollo, thousands of Ugandans have been surviving on Apollo. Let us not let many people down and they die with him. There are very many people. Aba yo bara buza. Mweno vaporo ya agenda. No hora atuare obuchori biet. No hora atuare bihimba biet. You see, you just see people around town no hora. Ama aba nya Uganda binjwa rakunda kugani ira. Bata rama nebiwa ragani ira. Ohu nguti biye nebiya wesh. Itu ya ba mwaba biere bara tura. You know. Tura rebo mshisho kuya arabo na abo na. Abandi muri ja kugani ira jastana. Uhura abamwe ngu aporo ngwa hire evi chori vishu nze ngwa hire evi himba vishu. Ora rebe aporo ahinji evi himba. Ahinji evi chori. Tebi yanyu timo muna amubi muhire. Tebi yanyu. Why? You know we have many people who like talking about other people's Businesses, obwe tiba kaguzaga honoru nyanyi. Mkano kisi wabara gani irabijaba andi kushu. Hamuheru ngu government tine chati yambiri. E kuyambe kuyambe chuo tare nda kuja chuwa ye yambu. Mjini wabara wanuwe yambu gana gata yebu gati warabu mutau ni ntego njiniya. Hatona babata ranyete ngumi niti bajangu tora honoru chwechiri. Hati ndabambi mirebijabu sha. Hati ndi muki kumine mwakora miaka chinana. Aba siga zwe miaka abirubabi yambu. Hatubaheza baja unji ngu mingu na azivimu. Hazikwerechi. Aporo worked hard for what he had. I remember there is a time, Chris, when the president sent me, I just joined over Rwanda, I was saving us out of Sudan. The county had no money. They borrowed their money. Taban, Idi, Chris, Mandera, Mwanje, and team. By surprising. Then, after the president had requested them to save South Sudan, then when the president comes up to say they must be paid, or rather they are being favored. They are being favored how? They saved lives. They would have chosen other businesses. So, your money must be paid. The balance of your money, we are going to work hard to ensure it is paid. Aponye still demands a lot of money, in South Sudan, we are going to work with you, Grain Council, to ensure your money is paid. A charm here on my side is to urge the business community to work very closely with the government because you are the biggest beneficiaries when the government is stable. Don't, 
you know ushango mushubuzi ataramanyana mp we that's the mp who is going to determine your tax that's the mp who is going to determine the budget allocated to domestic areas for you to be paid ushanga government abayayi barenda kugitera hansi iwiwogiro otinda fayo ekirije ki hmm kije ashe byawe bikagendera because i know the commitment of president m7 toward is helping the business community president m7 can never forsake his people and he showed us from aporo ubora mwikirizo batora mwikiriza tora mwikiriza mu konkaine mako kant kobundi kandi ndashaba abandi mu mwegere mwegere ari aporo aporo trusted president m7 and the president trusted him and stood by him so i urge all of you business community you are lucky you have a president who is very very deep concerned about you don't take it for granted you never know ngo ngo kaje ogogo wora manya eh e atura manya kando ramanya metwarize so let's work very closely with the nrm government Let's ensure we participate in leadership. In other countries, it's the business community which determines government. But here, Oshanga government, you may not complain, complain. No, come and play a critical role in government. Come and raise the taxes we are imposing. And then we shall listen to you. Those who have come, we've been able to work very closely. and i hope we shall continue working with more so ne ndakusima abantu aba messages are very many i personally received very many messages of condolences my brothers from high friars investment club i've received your condolence message and the 4 million towards burial expenses nanabandi so we shall read most of them when we go to kabari the day upon your past on he sent a message and he has also sent another message which is going to be read in ruchiga but let me just tell you the message that the president sent out on hearing the news of aponye's death While here, here he was in the countryside. I got the sad news of the death of Aponye, our big supporter and active economic actor. Condolences to his family and the Ugandans in general. may his soul rest in eternal peace signed yoweri kaguta mseveni president message written at bulera hill near kisozi and madu gomba actually a while ago president mseveni drove and went to muhanga to join uh, upon and his family during some family uh, functions so you can see the level and the degree of intimacy between the president of Uganda and the chairman of the national resistance movement and also Aponye the chairman of NRM in the Ruchiga uh, district I'll just make a few points because many points have been made salute mrs megamehe and the family of aponye 
for sharing the life and supporting Aponye in all his work to the community, to the country, and to the region. There is no way Aponye would have been as successful as all of us know him to have been if he had roadblocks within his own family. So, Nyabo Tulenda Kweba Zamunonga, Kuleba Nguiwe, a family, Mwena Mukeru Nda Runda, Nga Kwasa, Aponye Kuleba Nguwe Emirimo, Eyobu Untu, Emirimo Yehanga, Kandi, Nemirimo Yechwekechi Afrika, Yajikora Kurunji, Aza Ogumizimu, Emirimo Mirunjeji. The next point I just want to make after the family is that Aponye was focused on empowering people. It's amazing when you look at the way he empowered the children. You saw the children come here in substantial numbers. You heard their clear message. And indeed, their appreciation for the empowerment that Aponye gave them. I have no doubts that this was a great investment by Aponye and that the children, and indeed they have told us a number of times, they will continue the good work that Aponye has been doing and they will continue to expand his business empire. So we wish you well and we, the friends of Aponye, will continue standing by your side as you expand and progress. Aponye built relations. In this empowering of people, he was building relations. And building relations across many communities, many nationalities, and many countries. Among the friends of Aponye, you'll find every race, you will find every ethnic group, and in fact, in that building of relationship, Aponye was able to authorize and give support to one of his daughters, Alvin, to get a husband from abroad, from Europe. It shows you the broad bestness and the easiness and the respect Aponye had for his children. But back to the question of relationships. Mr. Keijuka, the chairman of the committee that is organizing the very arrangements, has already told us. He has said, in here, there are people from Rwanda. There are people from South Sudan. There are people I'm sure from DRC is quite firmly stationary, uh, takes a bit of time. So the political leadership has not moved as fast as Aponye and his colleagues in terms of building relations. To the family of Aponye Gamahe, wife, children, grandchildren, your friends, and all of us who have come to celebrate the life of Apollo Nyegamahe. He was a chairperson of NLM Luchiga District, uh, where I was a chairperson before we split Kabale in two, three districts. Uh, Rwanda, where Henry Musas is the chairperson, and the chairperson of Kabale, and uh, we convinced Henry. Uh, Apollo Nyagamahe to try and keep the fire go. Apollo Nyagamahe called me and said, you be there at 10 at St. Kwanga Church in Ntinda. I said, what, what is there? He said, my son is wedding. We were so dear to each other that I could not even wait for a card. I said, I will be there. 
and at 10 I was there, toward the end of the church, he said, Kanze kwe juna, na ina mjira nti mgenu nyowe, ebya reception nti ndaze kubibasa, abu kubanda asa kutega nisaba anto kuzina noku, noku nyuaka shela. Atikanda atichichire, achachire na ngugume yo, atawoka tulenda kuchakara. So, uh, uh, that was my last time after church, then I couldn't go to reception. I want particularly to bring sympathies to our Mugole, to see that this is your first function in the family. It's very disheartening, it's very heartbreaking. The scripture tells us in Psalms 90, 12, that learn how to remember your days so that you can gain a heart of wisdom. The experience of Apronye uh, really tells us how to learn how to number our days so that we can gain a heart of wisdom. It also tells us the Bible that we shall know them by their, by their fruits and I'm sure that uh, in Apronye Gamahe we see so many fruits that he has uh, produced. Uh, one of the philosophers in the 12th century uh, father said that if you feel pain, then you are alive. But if you feel the pain of others, you are a human being. Apollo Nyegamahe felt the pain of so many of us. And Apollo Nyegamahe was a human being. And we celebrate his life. He belonged to a generation of business community, especially from our area, who were not very educated, but have made so much impact on our economy as a, a community, but also as a, a country. I recall people like, I was talking to Honorable Gunda, people like Nzei, people like uh, Udra who was there, people who started in Magendo, smuggling, but have made a huge difference on the economy of our country. And we want to honor, we want to honor him. At an individual level, if I read the, the, the message of the Secretary General, he was a dear friend. He supported me. I've run now almost eight campaigns. There's no campaign I see that Apollo Nyegamahe did not contribute to my campaign. So generous a man to me, inspired me, and wanted me to be a strong businessman. To the extent that when we were doing some business in one of the countries, he offered, you can't believe, to give me, he had opened a, a, an open check for me, and he gave us goods worth 2.7 million US dollars without a coin to supply, and when they pay us, we pay him. He was so wonderful. A few businesses of supplies I was doing here, Harold is here, he can testify. He says, if you have something, deposit. if you don't have, just tell us we supply, then when they pay you, we shall, we shall receive the payment. We are so close that I'm very, when I heard that call that Apollo has died, I was extremely, extremely saddened. Uh, Apollo made a contribution in the NLM party. He supported NLM, as Dr. Ugunda said, and others, throughout and throughout. He was with us in the thick and thin. He supported us, a very loyal cadre of the NLM, and on behalf of the NLM members of SECA here, we want to honor you, Apollo, for the contribution you made uh, to the party. And this was recognized as somebody else would say by His Excellency the President. I remember in 2016, they had a problem with the payment of South Sudan. His Excellency the President, and we had, I was, by then I was still at Minister of Finance, said, what is wrong with this agreement which have been, these people of mine have been waiting for? I said, it is a little bit stuck, but we are moving, Your Excellency. He said, okay, no, 
you come and we'll go and make sure that he's signed. And I went with Apollo, with the Anite among now the Speaker of Parliament, uh, with His Excellency the President on his chopper, and we went to South Sudan. The President said it must be signed. It was signed, and we brought it back because His Excellency the President believed in what and the contribution of Apollo Nyegamahe to the NRM party. So we thank you for the contribution that you made. He, it is small businesses that make a difference, that provide jobs. As we have seen, Apollo made a contribution in uh, employing thousands of people. He made a contribution in paying taxes. He made a contribution in supporting churches and we shall forever uh, remember him. He was a strong pillar in our community of Chigezi. He was a strong pillar of, in our community of Chigezi. I don't know what we could, what we are going to do, but he was. Every time you were always stuck, you would say, Apollo is there to support us in the churches, in the politics, in what? So this this thing is very sad for us, but God has decided this way. We can only honor him and say that, Apollo, you made a contribution in politics. You made a contribution in national economy. And one other thing that I learned about Apollo Nyegamahe was he valued friendship. I cannot See any other day, Apollo without George William Kanajis, without Chris, without Taban. He was actually a nationalist. He was a nationalist. I have heard Chris here say that they can make and make. We hope he will not make us. <laughs> they, 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 they were very a strong pillar, very friendly all the time. Even when he was going for, you could hear the wife say, was going to represent his friend. So he has really taught us. He has inspired us in so many ways. So on behalf of the, of the party, on behalf of the party, we want to salute him. We want to honor him. We want to tell you, the family, that we shall remain with you. He was our friend and will forever remain the friend of Apollo Nyegamahe. He was a stronghold for Chigezi, a stronghold for the business community. And together we should work uh, to keep that message and that name. I want to take one minute to read the message of Richard Todong, our Secretary General. The resistance movement fraternity is saddened by the most untimely demise of Mr. Apollo Nyegamahe, also known as Aponye, who was perished in a tragic motor accident last Thursday evening around Itojo, along the Mbalala Kavale Lord. The country, and indeed the region, has lost a dedicated patriot, a Pan-Africanist, a binding tempreneur with great uh, honor, strategic, who has made strategic investments, and above all, a loyal and dependable cadre of the national resistance movement. At the time of this strategy, the late Apollo Nyegamahe was an impactful party chairperson for Uchiga district. The family has lost a power pillar at a time when his wise counsel and father figure guidance was still needed. Our thoughts and prayers are with the family members, friends, the people of the great Chigez region, including all those who, whose lives and livelihood were touched by his selfless generosity. The National Resistance Movement stands in solidarity in recognition of his patriotic contribution to the social economic transformation of Uganda and the regional society. Please accept our heartfelt condolences and the contribution of five million shillings towards value expenses. May the soul of the late Apollo Nyegamahe rest in eternal, eternal peace. So Apollo Nyegamahe rest in eternal peace. And Omchala, Nayanandasha, Shamawin Novanta Vasizekuja, just know that I'm with you. Thank you so much.